A cusp is defined as a point on the graph at which the function is continuous but the derivative is discontinuous. And the verbal definition is a sharp point or an abrupt change in direction. For example, if I had a function that looked like this, you know that this function is continuous, but over here at this point, the derivative is discontinuous because you can't really draw a tangent line at this point. Therefore, this point over here represents a cusp. We will go into cusps a little bit more when we learn more about derivatives. For one-sided limits, there are two different, uh, two different ways to represent a one-sided limit. From the left, if we wanted to represent the limit as x approaches c from the left, or where the values of x are on the negative side of c, we would write the notation like this. The limit as x approaches c negative, little negative sign, to signify that we want the values of x on the negative side of c. And then for limits, one-sided limits from the right, we write the notation as the limit as x approaches c with a small positive sign to show that we want we're talking about values of x that are on the positive side of c. Now, an interesting little property about one-sided limits is that the limit, so a limit um, where the values of x are approaching c from both sides, or the one that we learned initially, this is true if and only if the limit as x approaches c from the left side equals the limit as x approaches c from the positive side. So an example would be a function like this, and this is the point c we're talking about. We know that the limit as x approaches c is equal to L because the limit as x approaches c from the left side is the same as the limit as x approaches c from the positive side. A example of a function that is not that does not have a limit as x approaches c looks something like this. where you can see that the limit as x approaches c from the negative side approaches one value that does not equal the limit as x approaches c from the positive side.